Moving on to our next story, Abu Dhabi has removed six countries from the green list, including USA and Israel. Now, um, the travel regulations are pretty complicated. So if you guys want a proper breakdown of this, do head to our website where we have an article out and kind of breaks it down for you point to point. Or you can always visit the uh, Etihad Airlines website, Emirates website and all of that for your travel regulations, uh, travel updates. So basically what's happened is Abu Dhabi has removed the following six countries from the green list starting from today, Wednesday, August 18th. Armenia, Austria, Israel, Italy, Maldives, and the USA. And this means passengers entering from the capital from the aforementioned countries will need to wear a tracker wristband. So for vaccinated travelers, they'll have to take a PCR test on arrival and quarantine for seven days and then take a PCR on the sixth day. So these are travelers, vaccinated travelers coming from non-green list countries. Now, unvaccinated travelers coming from non-green list countries they'll have to take a pcr test on arrival quarantine for 10 days and will have to take a pcr test again on the ninth day now thus far only vaccinated those okay so thus far those who are vaccinated 28 days before the travel Um, with results showing on the al Hussein app will qualify as vaccinated passengers uh, but On the other hand, vaccinated passengers entering Abu Dhabi from green list countries will not be required to quarantine whatsoever. But non-vaccinated passengers arriving from a green list country will still need to quarantine for 10 days. So the major takeaway from this is if you are vaccinated, traveling to Abu Dhabi will be made much, much easier for you. Your quarantine days will be uh, will decrease and Yeah, so right now the requirement is of you having your vaccination status showing on the Al Hussein app. But Etihad did announce that starting from August 20th, vaccinations taken outside the UAE will also be permitted, including Sinopharm, Sinovac, Janssen, Pfizer, Sputnik V, Oxford, AstraZeneca, and Moderna. So that's from August 20th. They will be accepting. other vaccinations as well but until then it's only the uae authorized vac- vaccines if you have that and it shows on the al Hussein app you'll be able to come back to the uae i mean you'll be able to come back to abu dhabi dubai rules and abu dhabi rules are different so make sure to check with your airlines and where you'll be the city you'll be traveling to you check all of that before you go ahead and start making your travel plans and start you know uh, arranging those documents but Abu Dhabi has a very good control over the way they handle COVID-19. I mean, of course, all of the UAE does. But Chai, who stayed in, Abu, who stays in Abu Dhabi, stayed in Abu Dhabi. Now he stays in Dubai. He was just telling me that um, in Abu Dhabi, if you do get uh, tested positive for COVID-19, they are so. Um, I mean, they really take good care of you. They send uh, meals to you, so you get breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It gets sent to your home, so you don't have to worry about ordering anything. You don't have to worry about going out. You don't have to worry about getting groceries, cooking, any of that. If you're feeling really ill, you just stay in bed. The food gets delivered to you, and you have an electronic tracking wristband. So, uh, like, just to ensure that, you know, you are at home, that you're safe, that you're within the vicinity and all of that. So it keeps you safe. It keeps your community safe and all of that. So, like, huge props to Abu Dhabi for all these rollouts that they do to ensure the safety of their residents and citizens and i mean of course it just goes on to show just how great the uae has taken control and handled covid 